Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is going to be part one of my The Slaves walkthrough in Kenshi. So as you can see, we have basically just started and uh, the reason I decided to start the video right here is because I was actually able to pull off the toughness raising trick uh, right at the start of the game. So right here we have Almar, you'll notice he has eight toughness and my other character, Lovey, she only has three. So the reason Almar has 8 toughness is because he was able to stand up from playing dead multiple times. And I'm going to try to do that again now to show it to you. So he should switch the playing. There we go. He stood up. Knocked out again. 11 toughness. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Should be playing dead. Playing dead. Stand up. Gets hit again. And we can do this as many times as the game lets us. That is uh, the big factor here. Whenever the game is like, okay, that's enough, and stops letting us do it, then that's enough, and we can't do it anymore. These, uh, I think these guys are trying to constantly recapture me as a slave, right? Yeah, capturing a slave. So that's what they're doing. They still have to heal me too, but I'm pretty sure once they start healing me, that counts against... Um, like, they recognize that I'm playing dead and I can't continue playing dead, I think. Right now, I am very, 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 very lucky, though. When uh, my character starts playing dead, when he stands up, he immediately falls back unconscious instead of getting hit again. Because if he gets hit again, then there's only a matter of time before eventually, like that, where he's unconscious for over 100 seconds. So there you go. Right at the start, on day one, I managed to go from, like, 3 toughness to almost 30 toughness, which is monumentally important. This will make, uh, will make everything a lot easier for us. And basically, from now on, what we're going to be doing is, uh, it's just going to be fast-forwarding to past time. So, there's a few things I can explain to you in, uh, wow, Almar got out of, uh, already? They, they shaved him, yeah. Shaved his head. They left his beard on, but they shaved his head. So, you'll notice these buildings. These are all, obviously, the buildings that the slaves are being kept in. You'll see them all around uh, Rebirth. And you'll notice if you hold down all, there are a few things inside. Ceramic bowls, emperor statue, hacksaw, cup, fuel, green fruit, grog, leather, yada yada. Um, I'd recommend... Is she still unconscious? Yes, she is. Recovery coma. What I would recommend you do is pick up those items and carry them around with you. That way you can strength train your characters early on as well. Um, I'm going once once she wakes up, I will show you what I plan to do with her. Okay, cool. She can, she can pick the lock. When your characters are stuck in a cage like this, when they are a slave, you want to pick the locks to raise lock picking. Oh, that's funny. Oh. He let me out. Okay. I thought he ran up here and he like he heard me like picking the lock or something like that. So let's say lock picking one didn't get too high. I'm actually not sure if they will take uh Okay, that's there are You cannot seduce the man folk with your womanly charms here. Yeah. Let's see if every man thinks that way. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be some men here that are like, yeah, I'll take what I can get. And they'll sleep with the slaves. So right now, obviously, uh, when you're in rebirth, your characters will do a lot of running around like this. Um... It's actually really, really, really easy to escape, to escape once you are in Rebirth. Essentially, once you get put on a mine this far away from town, you can essentially just, like, book it out of here and, you know, run for the hills, quite literally in this sense. Uh, obviously, guards may pursue you when you do that, so you will need um, good athletics. You will also need arguably good strength if you plan to carry anything with you. Another thing that you might uh, need is um food and that's partly what we're going to be talking about probably in this video as as well as part two so when it comes to food for your characters uh it's kind of hard to get them to get it here 
there's a few things you'll read online that tell you strategies and tips like uh hold on i'm waiting to see let's see if i can move almar get him away from there there's something else i want to show you too when you're ready to raise um toughness on your characters this is what you need to do just hit the sneak button and you, the guards will immediately run at you that was weird i think they like re i hit sneak and uh they like reaffixed my shackles and then let me go i don't think that's ever happened before usually they attack me why are they doing that that's weird maybe it's different for here they uh will mess with your shackles instead of attacking you i don't know if i've ever seen that before they you like every single time i've ever seen them they always uh attack me there we go now i'm being attacked there we go finally oh and it's worth mentioning if you do this playthrough and one of your characters ends up dead that's basically game over uh there's you ba yeah you basically just have to restart Sometimes it'll bug out like that and get you stuck. And that's kind of just like, you know, luck of the draw, I guess. Now that my other character is unconscious too, now is a good time to toughness train Almar. Because you can't do the playing dead trick if your other character is nearby and conscious. Because your character will automatically stand up because they still have a chance of winning the battle since somebody else is still conscious nearby playing dead only works when there are no allies around or any ally that is around is incapacitated or otherwise you know unable to help you so this is going to be a uh she's in the cage so i don't have to worry about her almar is the only one that is conscious and in this area so i will be able to con i will be able to keep doing the the playing dead trick with almar maybe if it lets me which it seems to be letting me that one hurt next time I stand up it's probably gonna hurt again something like I said sometimes they get hits off sometimes they don't and like I said before toughness is one of the main things we want to raise here we want to raise our toughness we want to raise our strength we want to raise our athletics those of the those are the main things that we want here I kind of what do you mean the guards didn't even give me a chance I like started moving towards this building and they're like escapee I want to see what's in this building though but either way, I'm content with this. I can keep playing dead and keep raising my toughness. Before we escape as a slave, what we really, really would like... Oh, wow, they uh, they kind of ganged up on me a bit there. Before we escape as a slave, though, what we would ideally want is uh, toughness 40+, plus, athletics 50+, plus, strength probably 20+, plus if we can get it that high. It will be somewhat hard to uh, raise our strength. If we can't grab a hold of anything to carry around with us, which is what we're going to um, remedy shortly. So Almar, we're going to raise his lock picking since he's in the cage. I think she's being sent to a cave too. That would be my guess. Cage, sorry. If I said cave, I'm not sure. I was looking at my phone. Distracted. Texting while uh, slaving. Apparently, oh, okay. It hit 2200 hours, so she went back to her cage. Did I just get, yeah, I just got switched around. Can I unlock his? Nope. So these guys will, uh, if I remember correctly, fuck off at nighttime. And, uh, it, yeah, if you unlock the cages before nighttime, they will come back and relock them like that. It's good practice, though, for lockpicking. Like I said, uh, having, well, having high lockpicking will also be something else that is basically required in order to escape slavery. 
because if you don't have high lock picking then your chance of getting away is very 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 low because you're gonna have to well i shouldn't say very low it is random because you won't be able to unpick the cage fast enough or whatever it out whatever else it is you need to escape when it's time to escape you need to just be like you need to be able to pick the cage within like you know 10 in-game minutes maybe 20 in-game minutes and then you can bail you can't sit here for hours on end picking the cage because then you might lose your window also when it comes to escaping the best time to escape is 100 percent at night because the the visibility is reduced of the guards also m the majority of the guards are sleeping which you're going to see uh a bit here so we are going to use sneak that is another one that would be worthwhile to level up You can see there's guards up there at the door, which makes it uh, getting away a little bit more difficult. Um, we There's a few ways to solve that. We could uh, just do like a, a full-on sprint past everybody and hope for the best, which would be somewhat difficult. As you can see, there's quite a few of them there. The alternative would be to use assassination on a few of them and knock some of them out. That is uh, a possibility as well. Running by them, though, is probably... Well, actually, when escaping Rebirth, you should just pick an area where there's no guards at the time. Because usually... Uh, actually, where am I going now? Am I going up towards an area where there's a, an escape? Apparently, there is. There is, there is uh, like, a wall up there for guards, and there is a tower. I don't see any uh, Holy Nation in that tower, though. So yeah, I honestly have no, I've never been up here before, actually. What is my uh It's not leveling up. That's what a crock. My athletics is only 4 or 2. One thing I would recommend though is if you do the slave start, you don't have to play it um as actively as you see me doing here. Um what I would honestly recommend you do is Oh, there's a guard right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to escape and then we're going to grab some shit as much as we can. Come on, bitch. Get over there. And okay, good. You grabbed the tools. There we go. That's all for her now. She can uh, pass out or get knocked unconscious, rather. I just wanted to grab those few things into her inventory. So she's playing dead now. As you can see, Almar is far enough away. He is quite a distance away. He's all the way up there. So, again, as long as somebody isn't in range, you can do this trick. And watch. He has five toughness right now. Eight toughness. Ten toughness. And she keeps getting hit, unlike Almar. Oh, man. He put me in the cage, too. He got me. Let's see if they take the shit out of my inventory. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. It's almost day. Yeah, it is almost day. Dawn is upon us. The holy nation should be waking up. And I'm going to uh I'm going to just yolo right into the barracks right as they are waking up and probably about to leave for the day. Let me see what's over this hill though. Oh, okay. I can't I can't get over that hill. What about over there? Yeah, there might be a way out up there. There's a gate with a few more of them, though. Ideally, the uh, the best shit to steal for strength training would probably be in here. Quite a few of them. This should get me some good um, stealth training, too. Large basket over there has stuff in it. So, I really don't feel as if I can safely get over there without much of an issue. Maybe I can get upstairs. Nope. Oh man, they got me. So let's see. Playing dead, 46, 47 toughness. <laughs> they shot my body across the room. That's cute. 
as you can see, they uh, they're getting me pretty good, but I can keep doing the playing dead trick with this character. They're actually not even hitting me. I just play dead right before the hit connects with me. And that time they hit me. Oh, and they hit me good. They hit me in my stomach, so I'm knocked out for 153 seconds. See, like, this situation would be a good one to uh, flee when you would be ready. Because you could just take off from here. And Lovey needs to stop running around so that way she can get um, healed. Because right now, it's not very, like, she has some open wounds and shit. Let me hit stealth. There we go. They'll attack me. Knocked unconscious. First hit. Oh, right to, straight to recovery coma. Well, they healed me, so that's good. Almar's waking up now. Did they take... Okay, good. They didn't take anything out of her inventory, so she can do strength training. Just a minor amount, though, which is not that good. I need... Basically, uh, when you first... Your first few days here, the main things you're going to want to do are, one, toughness training, two, strength training. And uh, as far as strength training goes, what you will want to do is, at night, sneak around and fill your inventory with what you find in the buildings. That is, uh, that is the only real good way to do strength training. And of course, if you just leave your character run around like this, athletics training will uh, occur naturally. What I would honestly recommend is uh, the first like five to ten days that you you start out as the slave start, just leave your computer on turbo speed like this and go AFK. Because that will do mo the majority of the, the training for you without you having to do anything. Like right now, I don't even have my hands on the mouse or keyboard. I'm just basically talking and narrating while uh, everything happens in the background. Which is also why the camera angle keeps, you know, going through the wall and shit like that. But after I finish this video, I, might, I may end up just leaving it on for like 20 to 40 minutes as I watch it. Because, uh... I'm actually curious what the daily rotation looks like. I have left my computer on for 12 hours before with a slave's playthrough running, and I think it got to, like, uh, day 50 or day 80, something like that. I can't remember one of those two. And my characters had decent stats. I mean, everything was going pretty good. I really could not complain. Let's see if the guards will stop me when I run over to this building. Okay, I just hit, um, malnourished. Okay, so I got that now, which is basically nothing. It's not even, it weighs one pound. There we go. So, this is actually a good haul right here. Because we have, uh, cooked vegetables in there, which we, uh, sadly our character will immediately eat one of them. But we can save one. And sometimes you'll encounter this too. When you try to steal stuff like in broad daylight like this. People will uh, throw a bitch fit basically. And uh, that's fine. Just keep trying to steal. Oh man. He uh, he was like a, a step away from that barrel. That's fine. I can do the playing dead trick. Oh man they are. Yeah, you should have played dead sooner. You just got waffled by a, a whole group of them. A whole group of pissed off paladins. So let's say. I will drop the cooked vegetables right there. Cooked vegetables. And uh, the reason I dropped them right there is because it's kind of uh, in the area that I would like to escape from. I would like to escape from this, this direction right here. The only downside is it's right by the, the guard's hut so it might not be the smartest idea of, to have dropped it there but either way we need to uh ideally before our escape we would save up a bunch of food and then eat it all or you know put it in our inventory the day prior to the escape I like how the moment you go into stealth, you get escape slave. Well, 
Se sounds like my character's a bit indoctrinated. Blessing the Lord for putting him into slavery. Yes, the Holy Nation indoctrination is working. Cutting it pretty close to that building. Almost Was almost tempted to go in and see what I could steal. She needs the athletics training, though, and the strength training. She's the only one with junk in her inventory. I don't know what the hell Almar is doing. Slaves in this game are so inefficient. They'll, like, mine a pile of rocks for, like, an hour in-game and then run all the way across to another pile of rocks. It's... It's silly. Oh, okay. Unconscious for over a hundred seconds. Let's see. Water jug, cup, small emperor statue. What else do I... Ceramic bowl. So we can do... Uh... There we go. 31 out of 15. So she is getting quite a bit of strength. <laughs> I love how the guard is like chasing me around, unable to uh, actually. There we go. I like how, despite the fact that they've seen me thieving, they won't actually go out of their way to uh, take shit out of my inventory. Once you are a slave, they really almost never clear, clear your inventory. So she should be good. That, uh, she should be able to hold on to those items for a while and, um, not have to worry. Almar just went secret agent man mode. He needs to get some stuff for his inventory badly. I think he was spotted. Yeah, he was. That's right, you can't beat me. Well, maybe you can if you hit me like that. 28 out of 15, so he has three cups, so it's not too much. He's going to be in a recovery coma for a while. Also, it is worth mentioning, uh, be very careful not to lose a limb. Well, um, as a slave, if you lose an arm, it's not the end of the world. But if you lose a leg, it is the end of the world. You, uh, you may as well just start over. That character is broken. You're not going to be able to escape while well, losing a leg. Unless you have the other character carry them. In which case, you're going to need to train your strength better, I guess. Okay, so he, uh, he left me. Cup, hacksaw, water jug. Yeah, I am stealing from you. What are you going to do about it, bitch? That's what I thought you would do about it. My character, he just lets me get back up as he's like running around debating what to do about this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they stole, they stole, they stole, running around. Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do? So, 39 out of 15, that's not too bad. What is this guard doing? I like how my character is just ignoring them, like, yo, I need to work. 
Y'all are like making it harder for me to work and shit. Okay, so she has basically a full inventory. I can, aside from toughness training, I can just let her run for a little while and raise strength, raise athletics, and raise everything that she needs to raise. Almar, I need to steal stuff to fill his inventory, which shouldn't be hard once night rolls around. And aside from that, um, toughness training on Levy. Stealth training on Almar would be ideal because we might need to steal some stuff and we might also just need stealth for later. Lock picking as well is also going to be monumentally important if we want to break out at a reasonable time. And uh, let's see our other skills. So our dodge is going to go up every single time we get attacked because we're not carrying any weapons. If we fight the Holy Nation back, we can raise martial artists and I think melee attack too we can also raise. Um... I'm not sure about melee defense. Chance of blocking incoming. Getting hurt, getting beaten up, losing battles, blocking incoming attacks. So that should technically be going. I guess it's going up. I guess it's because we're not actually fighting and defending ourselves, which is why it's not going up. Where's... Okay. Well, that was quick. Your inventory still full? Yes, it is. Okay, so. Well, he, uh... Wow, 15 stealth from just that? That was a decent amount of uh, stealth level up from just that. Usually, uh, the deal with stealth is when you just, if you just like run around in one area, stealth will very slowly go up. But if you actually stealth by targets, it'll go up significantly faster, which is why you've seen, uh, seen it get such a huge spike like that. Just checking out the Holy Lord Ocran statue while we have time. Or sorry, Holy Lord Phoenix. Did they... He seriously just left her on the ground like that? You didn't even take her back? Like, what the fuck, dude? I've, uh... I'm not sure if I've ever seen them do that before. Just leave my character on the ground like that. I mean, it's not like it really matters. Uh, actually, it would be helpful if they did leave her on the ground like that and she was like left outside of the, the main area. That would make it quite easy to escape. Nope, somebody got her finally, put her in a cage. Stupid Holy Nation paladins leaving their garbage laying around like that. And yeah, this is going. This is going to be the uh, one of the more boring starts you can do in Kenshi, because a lot of it's going to just be sitting here and waiting for characters to wake up. Because uh, when you do toughness training, you're gonna get knocked unconscious a lot, especially early on. And it's easy to do toughness training for these guys when you have uh, two characters and one is knocked unconscious. Am I awake yet? Excellent. So let's start uh, picking locks. Nope, I didn't think so. I was trying to raise, sometimes you can uh, raise assassination like this, but other times you can't. Sometimes you actually, like, have to get out of your cage. Nothing in those barrels. Wooden bowl, holy flame, bread. That's, uh, that is the difficulty there when trying to stock up on food for your escape. Hey, what is what? 
How'd you how'd you figure it out? I already like ate it. So Almar's gonna fight back this time because we're gonna check. Oh, okay. Almar's not gonna fight back this time. I wanted to check if melee defense would go up when I fought back or melee attack. Melee attack will, of course. But melee defense, I'm not sure. Oh, wow, they let me out already. Sneaky. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky. Middle midday light. Look at all their skill ups. Because uh, I was successful the entire time sneaking around. That's why. That's why I got all their skill ups. So I'm going. Oh, I was going to fight that time, but I got clobbered again. Okay. See how it doesn't go to playing dead, and he keeps trying to stand up like that. It's because my other character is within, you know, a normal radius of him. So that makes it so he will keep standing up like that and not play dead. That's why you can't toughness train when two characters are in the same area and they're both conscious. Because it just won't let you. Gosh darn it, I can't stealth KO. Usually if you stealth KO, even if you fail, it will give you a... Uh, it's funny that the car they keep running up to me and not attacking me. Now they're going to attack me. Now they're all quite upset, as you can see. If you uh, stealth KO, even if you fail, you will still get, um, whatchamacallit, XP for it. A lot of XP. So I'm going to switch her to block instead of uh, even attacking, and I'm going to keep an eye on melee defense. Oh, the yep, there you go. Or no, sorry, it's, in it's at 1. It's always been at 1. So, nope, she didn't get uh, any melee defense skill ups. I think she got one dodge skill up, though, but I would have to rewind in order to luck. So, it might, uh, the reason we might not be getting any of those skill ups is because we might need a weapon for them. Because it does say block incoming attacks, and I'm honestly not sure if you can block incoming attacks without a weapon. Also, while doing slave shit, laboring will also be raised, but you don't, like, laboring isn't important until you make a base or uh, buy a building in town. And that's not something we're going to be worrying about for quite a while with this playthrough. It's going to be a bit before we can uh, make a build, buy a building in town. So the second you enter this building, it's pretty much uh, the guards are going to be upset at you anytime you enter one of their barracks like this. However, their barracks are going to be where the best loot is kept. Like this weapon cabinet you can see there, it's locked and it has items inside of it. Oh man, one hit, you got me. I am playing dead though, so I can do this. Stand up. Unconscious again, excellent. Oh man, he grabbed me that time. Did they take stuff from me? Yeah, I think they took items from me. So that's not good if uh, if they did indeed take some items from me. Because uh, then what that would essentially mean is once you pick up items for your characters, you should just let them run free uh, for a little while. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't interfere with their uh, routines until they get their strength training high enough. Um, I know them taking items from you is kind of a hit or miss thing though, so why what what did he do? Sometimes you encounter silliness like that though. Twenty five out of sixteen. He does need more um shit though to carry. I'm not content with his level of 
strength. 1600 hours. I guess it would be best to wait until night and then we could do uh, strength training or steal stuff for strength. One thing that is worth mentioning is if you want your characters to uh, stop doing what they're doing, just do this. Just issue a command at an area other than where they are now and they will switch to another slave labor task and they won't get in trouble for doing it. If you run around though manually and you don't let the, the AI run around, then there's a chance the guards are gonna be like, hey, stop that and uh, come after you. But otherwise you can just keep, oh, apparently not. Apparently I went a little bit too far in, uh, in the wrong direction there. So let's see. Oh, of course, one hit. Nothing in these two. See these two barrels right here in, on uh, near the cages at the top of the building here? Any items they take from slaves that they bring here will be put into those barrels. So keep that in mind. And that includes your items too. Guards will most likely attack me when they see me. They'll be like, hey, you, uh, you just stole some shit upstairs, didn't you? Eh, maybe a little. Maybe a teeny weeny bit of shit I stole upstairs. I don't want those holy servant rags. They don't weigh enough. They just take up a lot of space and they don't really weigh enough. What? Indeed. What indeed? Haha, <laughs> you missed. Haha, <laughs> you missed again. So I'm going to fight you now, jerk. Ooh, take that. Pow. Everybody was kung fu fighting. You know what would be kind of interesting? To uh, raise your kung fu skills so high while still in slavery that you can basically break out with just your fists. That would take uh, monumentally forever, though. Is he... Uh, okay, good. He's not stealing my shit. As long as you guys don't steal my shit, I'm pretty content with... Uh, 36 out of 16, 39 out of 15. So, cool. Every, they got basically what they need to raise their strength now. Now I would just leave them and let them, uh, you know, do their thing. There we go. They just let me out and it's going to be like five more minutes until I get sent back to my cage, right? I think it's 20 hours. Or not. I don't know. Or maybe I need to break my, uh, once I get to this location, I'll run back to my cage. We'll see. Because night is almost here, and typically, you're sent to your cage at night. So as you can see, my strength is uh, 4 right now, but it's also minus 4 because of my injuries and my hunger. So That's also good as far as uh, strength training goes, because with the inventory we have now... Let's assume that we would only be able to raise... Okay, so 2,200 hours is when we get into uh, our cages. With uh, the current... Like, with the current items I have now, let's say that I would only be able to raise my strength to about 10 to 15 or so before I would hit the, the cap. Uh, with negative 90% strength, thanks to the malnourishment, I would be able to raise my strength higher now because I would be able to... Because the strength suffers a penalty the entire time, a 90% penalty... So instead of only being able to raise it to like 15, once I get my strength to 15, I think it would be 90% uh, of 15 is what? I would assume it's going to be like my strength would end up being like 1, 1 1.5 or something like that would be my guess. So let's say I just broke out a few with, uh, with Lovey and what I am going to do is stealth KO. Failed. That's fine. And I got caught. What? That's weird. It only gave me 80%. Usually it does a lot more than that. You could do this, though, if you wanted. This would uh, help you raise your assassination skill and help you escape easily. Because uh, getting s knocking some guards out would be ideal for getting past them. 
when it comes time to escape. You can see sometimes, too, uh, you'll encounter prisoners like that that freak out when you break them out. There's a few different types. Uh, the type of prisoner you encounter will be dependent on the prisoner's personality. If they have a brave personality, uh, then they probably will escape with you. If they have a fearful personality, like that guy right there, he will basically get, get back into the cage. See, that, that prisoner just became my follower, and he'll follow me if I wanted to escape right now, but I don't really plan to escape right now, so he's kind of just going to die. Poor guy. Why can't you pick up the cup? Why does the wooden bowls not stack? So that's kind of annoying when this happens. Sometimes uh, when you steal stuff like that, it doesn't properly stack. So I don't want to pick up that dried meat either because it's going to uh, might need it for later on. One thing that's worth mentioning is don't go around uh, picking up and eating all of the food. Um, while you're here because then you won't have any food to escape with and that is uh, that's not the end of the world you know it's kind of uh, it's just kind of annoying and when you're ready to escape too, doing stuff like what you see me doing right now isn't the worst idea breaking out all of the prisoners because these guys would uh, be a very good distraction for you If I stealth KO them, they're going to attack me, most likely. I would assume so. We're going to uh, go down here and basically get caught. There we go. Immediately caught. My stealth skill was way, way, way too low. The other prisoners are getting beat up. I want to see what happens. I want to see if they will... Uh, Okay, so I got back in the cage and they stopped attacking me. I was always curious about that. I just never did it. I think it's kind of funny. Broke everybody else out and then like I got back in my cage while they were fight <laughs> fighting. Okay, let's see what's around me. Not much. There we go. Not a very friendly prisoner. Okay. That's right. You are free. So go do whatever you want to do, buddy. Let's see. Is he a shack? Yeah, he is. Good luck, buddy. He's got 19 or 18 toughness. He should be able to... uh He should be able to get somewhere, do some good. You'll probably see numbers in the, in the distance as he runs through uh, the gate over there. So you can see Almar is getting pretty good stealth skill ups while doing all of this. As I said, leveling up stealth would be a, uh, a fantastic way of escaping I will let him run all the way up there as he uh, levels his stealth and who is trying oh okay ah I see he keeps picking the lock and then being like uh relocked Quite a few stealth skill ups. Ah, now we stopped leveling up stealth. Oh, there we go. Nope, still 30%. I guess because we have that uh, 
it's not at night anymore and we're not really being stealthy. We're kind of just running around pretending. Usually when there's nobody around to see you, your stealth levels up slower. So that is uh Oh, he's an escape slave. Okay. So Yep, still 30%. Let's uh go by this building and see. The second there's enemies around that could see us, let's see. Up. Oh. Nope. The second there the second there was an enemy that could see us, they did. Gosh darn it, they got me. Still no melee defense and still no melee attack either. So yeah, I don't think martial artist raises melee attack, even though it should. It's strange. I could have sworn it did. I mean it is melee. Oh wow, we're only on day four. It's felt like so much longer. Let's see if they take the shit out of my inventory. Nope, doesn't look like they did. So I can raise picklock while I'm up here. Anything in these barrels? Nope. Cup, fuel, ceramic bowl, and grog downstairs. So there is some goodies I can take uh, from up here. can take the cup and the ceramic bowl. They might stack with what I already have. Alarm raised already? That's weird. Ah, he seen me from up there. Okay, that makes sense. Still didn't take my shit, so that's good. Right now, I'm just guaranteeing that she runs around. Every single time she stops at a rock, I'll just target I'll just target the ground and issue a command right next to me, and then she'll run to the next location. Ideally, you would want to keep that up until she uh, was no longer gaining a lot of strength XP for walking. And see the cooked vegetables are still there. The food will stay wherever you drop it forever. Uh, or sorry, not forever, but until you leave the area and uh, that location um, is unloaded from the game. When it's reloaded, all items that were on the ground will be uh, gone. So, something to keep in mind. Come on, let me out of jail. I'll let myself out. How's that? Wow, only 13 lock picking? I thought it was higher than that. That was weird. Sometimes that happens when you're out here, though. She keeps standing up because Almar is nearby. That's why it's hard to toughness train when you got two characters in the same spot. You really do have to wait until one is basically unconscious.
But either way, it's only it's uh, almost day five, and we have one character almost 55 toughness, and the other one um, 15 toughness. One has six strength, the other one has four strength. So in my opinion, we're off to a good start. A very good start. Still, thankfully, haven't taken anything out of my inventory. Okay, now she's pretty, uh, pretty messed up. I gotta leave her for a while because of her leg. Negative 50, that's gonna be, uh... It's gonna take a while to heal. And I don't want to lose the leg, too. That's another reason I... You wanna be careful. <laughs> I broke out of my cage in the, uh... Gosh darn it. I thought I was gonna get an uh, assassination KO off on him. <laughs> That's fun. No XP. What do you mean no? Oh, it definitely gave me XP. I'm level 12 in assassination now, so. Oh, I thought he was going to let me out. Well, they didn't un unload my inventory, so that's still good. So he's got 55 toughness, she has 16, and my strength isn't that high. It seems like they're healing faster than usual, in my opinion. But uh, that is really all I can think of showing you guys for the first video. I'm probably going to deal with slavery for uh, another maybe 5 to 10 in-game days, maybe a little bit longer. I guess it depends on how long I decide to leave my characters um, running. Because I'm probably going to uh, alt-tab a bit and write a guide while I leave them running. And I'll keep checking back in as they raise their strength, athletics, and stuff like that. And then once I'm satisfied with their skill-ups from that point on, I will be ready to escape. This is funny. He keeps breaking out and uh, nobody pays attention. So it said failed, no XP. But I it went from 12 to 19, so I definitely did get XP. Okay, good. They didn't unload my inventories. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll probably do next video the escaping. I don't know how far uh, ahead that'll be in terms of in-game days, but from now on, we did we did the bulk of the work as far as slavery goes. We just need to now wait. We need to let our characters do a lot of running around to train their strength and athletics. Every night or whenever we get time, we will need to constantly keep trying to lockpick our cages to raise our lockpicking skill. Ideally, we would like our lockpicking skill to be uh, 40 to 50 plus before we go to escape. Athletics, we want 50 plus, in my honest opinion, before we go to escape. Uh, stealth, not really important, but it wouldn't hurt to raise stealth a little bit before um, we escaped. Like, 35 is pretty solid. Anything over 50 is probably perfecto. Uh, laboring, again, not really that important. It is once we escape, but it's, you know... It's up to you if you want to raise it while being a slave. I don't, I don't think it really matters, though. Aside from that, toughness is really the last one. And I would recommend toughness 50 plus before um, it comes time to escape. Also, it wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly, to raise toughness the, the quote-unquote legitimate way. And that is to say raising toughness by just constantly getting into fights and fighting people. Because if you raise toughness that way... 
it will also raise dodge. It will also raise, um, well, it'll also raise dodge because it won't raise your melee attack or your melee defense unless you actually fight with a weapon. But raising dodge is a decent, it is decent because uh, dodge will essentially, it only will help you when you're a martial artist, but it will help you for the first start of the game in my honest opinion. For once you escape from the rebirth pits, there's going to be, you know, uh, a decent amount of still getting situated to life outside of rebirth. You're going to need weapons, and before you get weapons, you're probably going to be fighting with your fists. And we'll talk all about that with the next video. The next video, like I said, will probably escape from slavery, and then maybe the video after that, we will uh, pick a noob zone. Because once we escape from slavery, we have a choice of where to go, what to do. We can either run all the way south to the border zone and start there. Uh, Holy Nation territory, our reputation will probably be too damaged to start there. We could go to uh, the Floodland or the Hidden Forest and join the, the uh, what are they called? Flotsam Ninjas, I think, there. That's an option. We could go to uh, the United Cities in the Northeast and join whatever there. There's a lot of different options. And we'll talk about that a bit with the next video and the video after that. But aside from that, that's really all I can think of showing you guys in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If I got anything wrong, left anything out, or anything like that, please let me know in the comments section below. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in my next video walkthrough for the Slaves game mode. Peace.